And the great thing that Interpol can bring is, is that network. You are two phone calls from a chief of police, a head of a national central bureau. It allows us to stop trying to duplicate the training that takes place. So whether it's the emerging cyber crimes that are taking place, you know, countries don't need to replicate and develop their own training now. What they can do is suddenly use the global academy that Interpol, and you pay for. So part of my role here is to actually help the law enforcement and the partners around it understand how they get the best value out of Interpol. Because my job is no longer about me, my job is about supporting Colonel Jones, the Commissioner, the Minister, in making sure that they can be as effective as possible. And the reality is, my time in policing, the world has changed. Data, you know, I, the, the, you, when you talked about forensics, when I joined the police, it was about fingerprints, then DNA came on board. But now digital footprints, data, are the way that we will understand where those drug dealers, where those organised criminals, those money launderers, child abusers are sitting. And we have the data to connect Barbados to Korea, to Korea to South Africa. And that's a unique opportunity, and it's an exciting one uh, for, for the Royal uh, Barbados Police Force. And we want to help them be the very best and link into the Caribbean. We have data sets around firearms. We support around huge uh, drugs importation and movement of, of money as well. And that data is all there to support the investigations, both in Barbados and the wider partnership.